Good morning on this Wednesday in the last week of Easter. Today we continue our hymn project and at the end of this morning prayer service, Otis, a choir boy, will sing that great Easter hymn, This Joyful Easter Tide. Today we offer our morning prayer before the stained glass window depicting St. Helena. Helena was the mother of the Emperor Constantine. She came to faith later in life and at the very end of her life. She made a pilgrimage to the Holy Land, to Jerusalem, which made such an impact on her faith. She was famous there for establishing the building of basilicas on the Mount of Olives in Bethlehem, most famous, according to legend, for discovering the true cross during excavations upon Golgotha, where Jesus was crucified. So in most depictions of St. Helena, she's embracing the cross as she is here. But her significance for this parish has to do with the lesser celebrated gift that she gave. In the year 326, she built a church on the summit of Mount Tabor, which was believed to be the mountain upon which the transfiguration took place. Remember that this church is the fir first church in the Anglican communion to be named Transfiguration. In the Bible, in all the stories of the miracle of the Transfiguration, the mountain upon which it occurred is never mentioned. But early tradition had it that it was Mount Tabor but eight miles west of the Sea of Galilee, but 12 miles from Jesus' hometown of Nazareth. And that Helena built a church in 326 strengthened the argument that this was the place. And from that time until now, there have been churches, shrines, monasteries built, torn down, and built again to say this was the place. So we honor today St. Helena, who joins a long line of praying mothers, uh, Hannah and Anna and Monica and others, who so made an impact on the faith and the faithfulness of their children. So today the Lord is glorified in his saints. O come, let us adore him. And our morning prayer, right one, begins on page 42 of our prayer book. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen, Alleluia. Alleluia, Christ the Lord ascendeth into heaven. O come, let us adore him, Alleluia. And praying together the Jubilate on page 45. O be joyful in the Lord, O ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be ye sure that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. O go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth from generation to generation. Alleluia, the Lord hath ascended into heaven. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. And the psalm reported for the day is Psalm 101. Found on page 730 of the prayer book. Let us pray the psalm together. I will sing of mercy and justice. To you, O Lord, will I sing praises. I will strive to follow a blameless course. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk with sincerity of heart within my house. I will set no worthless thing before my eyes. I hate the doers of evil deeds. They shall not remain with me. A crooked heart shall be far from me. I will not know evil. Those who in secret slander their neighbors, I will destroy. Those who have a haughty look and a proud heart, I cannot abide. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. And only those who lead a blameless life shall be my servants. Those who act deceitfully shall not dwell in my house. And those who tell lies shall not continue in my sight. I will soon destroy all the wicked in the land, that I may root out all evildoers from the city of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 8, verses 28 through 34. When Jesus came to the other side, to the country of the Gadarenes, two demoniacs coming out of the tombs met him. They were so fierce that no one could pass that way. And suddenly they shouted, 
What have you to do with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before our time? Now a large herd of swine was feeding at some distance from them. The demons begged him, saying, If you cast us out, send us to the herd of the swine. And he said to them, Go. So they came out and entered the swine, and suddenly the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and perished in the water. The swine herds ran off, and on going into the town, they told the whole story about what had happened to the demoniacs. Then the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their neighborhood. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And turning to page 50, May we pray the song of Mary. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For, for behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. But he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud and the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath opened his servant Israel, as he promised to our forebearers, Abraham, and his seed forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And the Apostles' Creed continues on page 53. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And praying suffrages be on page 55. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever, world without end. Won't save, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, that thy mercy be upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. We pray together the prayer of St. Helena. Holy and blessed St. Helena, with the anguish and devotion with which thou sought the cross of Christ, we plead that you give us God's grace to suffer in patience the labors of this life, so that through them and through your intercession and protection, we will be able to seek and carry our cross, which God has placed upon us, so that we can serve him in this life and enjoy his glory ever hereafter. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. This joyful Easter tide, away with sin and sorrow, my love the cruel.
crucified has brought to life this morrow. Had Christ that once was slain now burst his three-day prison, our faith had been in vain. But now hath Christ our Flesh and hope shall rest, and for a season slumber, till jump from east to west shall wake the dead in number. Had Christ that once was slain, now burst his three-day prison, our faith had been in vain. But now at Christ our is our is our is our is Death's flood hath lost his shield since Jesus crossed the river. Lover of souls from hell, my passing soul dear. That once was slain, now burst his three-day prison. Our faith had been in vain, but now hath Christ our risen, our risen, our risen. Our